it's time to open some Shining Legends. Really quite fond on that set name, and as you can see today, we are opening the Elite Trainer Box of Shining Legends. I'll quickly show you what's on the back, but I prefer to kind of go through it in the video rather than just listing everything off. But if you do want to read what's on the back, then do feel free to pause the video. And you've probably seen Elite Trainer Box before, you know where they are. They're big boxes full of cards and other goodies. So... Without rambling on all that much, let's get into it. Now, what's, when I now while I do open this, uh, I just like to point out as well that I don't actually know all that much about this set. I've seen people on Instagram have some really great pulls from this, but I honestly couldn't tell you much about it because I've kind of tried to keep myself away from this. I don't want to spoil myself, as it were. I do that with more sets, but this one particularly. So we get an out. part of this box. And I believe that is the little guide thing. So that's the player's guide. Quickly flip through here. Um, basically, it kind of tells you all about. So the emphasis on this set is on legendary Pokemon, Shining Legends, kind of making sense there with the name. Lovely illustrations there. I do like getting these just because it's nice to kind of get official Pokemon illustrations and stuff now and then. And of course, these are some cards and sets. I don't think they're all of them, but they're the notable ones. Those are the super special ones that will be really cool to pull. But I don't know, we've only got 10 packs, so I'm not going to hold out any hopes for anything in particular. And there's some more. And there's the Pokemon TV app, which I use sometimes. It's pretty good. It's not amazing. I believe this folds out somewhere. It's, ah, there we are. So there's some little glue things there. Which I always feel bad about opening uh, because I feel like I'm going to rip it. But this actually comes off pretty clear. Hey, But we do inside get all of the pack designs. Now, I've seen one or two of these, but... So we've got Red Gensect, we've got Mewtwo, we've got Shining Mew or Shiny Mew, and Shiny Rayquaza or Shiny Rayquaza. And of course, you can put this back together because there is still the little glue there. You can't really make it out on camera, but it is there. I promise you. Anyway, that's not what you came here for. Well, I guess this is partly what you came here for, maybe. What you really came here for is this. And obviously, it's got Ho-Ho on both sides. I really like Ho-Ho. I prefer Lugia, however, I do also very much like ho -Oh. Let's get these out. Oh, hang on. They seem to kind of... Oh. Oh, okay, well, wow. these uh, take up a lot more room than last time. It literally holds it. So, as with other things, just in case you haven't seen them, you close it up and it makes a nice little smaller box like that. We can keep a ton of cards in. And, of course, there are other things. Now, I'm going to have to try and sort through these as we go. But, anyway, I'm not going to take too much time looking at each one. But these are the card sleeves, which I'll open quickly. Because, just in case we do pull something particularly nice, I'd like to be able to put them in a sleeve straight away. Rather than kind of just leave them lying on my bed. Uh, so, I'll just take one out. Uh, it's silver on this side. And very reflective ho -oh, gold and black. And obviously the card goes in the top there. That's how card sleeves work. I don't really need to explain that. Okay, what else do we have? We have the dice, which I probably won't take out of the pack because there's not all that much point. And each Elite Trainer box obviously has its symbol as the head icon on the dice. And I believe these can be used, uh, the middle one especially, as a heads and tails coin toss thing. Because coin tosses actually aren't all that great. Uh, I've never been a fan of them. Right, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, the code card was there, but I pulled it out with the code facing the camera. And I'd rather like to use the code myself. I hope you don't mind. You didn't miss anything else though, thankfully. We have, ah, right, these are the acrylic tokens. So there is the poison, there's the burn, and then there's the GX counter. Now, I've actually never seen the GX counter, which, ah, you open that way. And quickly have a look at these. 
so yeah that is um, sorry that is burn that's poison and then that's the gx counter because you can only use one per game and i guess you're going to put it to the side then once you use it to demonstrate that you've used it i'm not sure let's put that to the side there and as with all the trainer boxes it comes with five energies from each type i'm not going to open this because it's literally that's what it is you've probably seen energy cards from each of the types before so there's not all that much point of pulling them out and showing you and we have a promo card. aha right are you ready to see the promo card it is shining hello that is wow okay the hollow effect on that is pretty darn cool i do apologize it is in plastic i know I'm not going to take it out right now because I don't see much point. You can see it clearly here. And that is the promo number down there. And yeah, got to admit, that's actually a nicer looking card than I thought. When I saw the original kind of promo picture of it, I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't a full art or a GX or something. But actually looking at it, this is really cool. I like that the background isn't hollow. Usually it's kind of the other way with hollow cards, so this is definitely pretty special. Now I'm going to move all this cardboard out of the way as well because I believe all that's really left in this trainer box is all of these packs. Uh, there should be ten of them in all. Three. That's a good start. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, ah, hang on. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, and of course they do come with dividers as well. They're just kind of things you put in the big box to divide. I don't know decks or your spares or your energies or something. Those are nice as well. I don't use the boxes all that much because I don't actually play competitive cards. Well, sometimes online, but it's not all that similar. Anyway, let's put them into categories. That's the shining mule. Red Gensect, Mewtwo, Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Mew, Red Gensect, Mew, Rayquaza, and Gensect. Okay, so we seem to have... Uh, yes, okay, we have seem to have three of those and two of those each. So, let's go through in order, kind of. Let's start with the Mew one and get the Red Gensect one. I'm just going to slightly reposition and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, let's start with the Mew pack. And i got to say, these are pretty cool. That's the back if anyone wants to read it. Please, a bright trail with shining Pokemon. Shining Legends expansion contains over 70 cards. Oh, wow, okay, so this is actually a smaller set than I thought it was. Now, unfortunately, I haven't really done my research here, so I can't tell you all much about this set. Apart from the fact that Shining, Le Shining Pokemon have made a comeback, and that's about it. Now, I'm not sure of the order, either, of these packs. I want to say it's three to the front, but I could be wrong, so I don't know. What I'm going to do is go through a pack regularly, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, first up, we have Zoroa. Plusle, including a Minon. We have a Bulbasaur, next to a lovely stream there. That's a really nice bit of art of Bulbasaur. And we got an Ivysaur right behind it. That's quite nice. We have a Stunfisk. I'm glad that of the 70 plus cards they had for this set, Stunfisk was one of the ones they chose, because he's everyone's favourite. That's the reverse. Hang on, wait. So how many cards was that? We started with Zoroa, didn't we? Three, four, five. Okay, so it is three to the front then, I suppose. Well, we'll get on to the rare and then we'll do it from there. So, we, wow, the illustration of that jinx. I only just uh, focused on it. Well, that's interesting that we have a reverse jinx. Oh, man, okay. We have a hollow ver uh, Verizon. Ver it is Verizion, isn't it? Or Verizion? I don't know. So I suppose it is three to the front. Let's go. Okay, there's an energy. Oh, maybe it's four to the front, like the other sun and moon boosters then. We have a Scrafty, and these are uncommon. I know we're going kind of wrong there. We have a Great Ball. 
Okay, and we have a Sophocles, so we'll just put four to the front as usual then. Fun fact, Sophocles was a Greek playwright who was known for um, popularising innuendos and stuff like that. I could be wrong, actually. I could be thinking of another Greek playwright. But whatever, that's not why you came here to watch this. Right, let's get on to the next pack, which is the red Gensec thing, I believe. Yes, so we know it's four to the front now, so we shan't be having our res right in the middle of the pack. Okay, I'm trying to open these kind of carefully because I like keeping one of each pack. Unfortunately, this did rip just a little bit on the right side there, but wherever that is open. Yes, let's take the code card to one side. Four to the front. One, two, three, four. And let's begin with the fairy energy. Lovely. Yay, Voltorb! Well, it's happy to see uh, the... Uh, it's Electrode, it's not Voltorb. Oh my god, what am I on about? Uh, the Voltorb line. It's nice to see the Voltorb line. That's right, man. Or I guess if you turn it upside down, it's a very weird-looking Voltorb. We have a Spiritomb. That's cool, a kind of pseudo-legend... Well, it's not really a pseudo-legendary, is it? What am I on about? We have a Damage Mover. We have an Ivysaur. In Ivy, so what am I on about? Uh, we have Zorua. Okay, this is looking slightly similar to the other pack. Ah, not Litten though. We didn't pull a Litten before. That's pretty cool. We have oh Quillfish. Okay, interesting man. I haven't seen him in forever. Has he? Is that a shiny Quillfish? I can't tell. I don't think it is actually. I think I'm just being hopeful that yeah, my boy Shroomish, which uh. We can't see because he's blocked, but there, there we are, buddy. Look, you're represented as well. Uh, although, man, this this one's not having a good time. Uh, we have a reverse uh, Golette, which is interesting. They always have Golette and Galook in a lot of card sets, and I can't really work out why. They're not all that popular, unless I don't know the card designers really like them. Oh! And we got a Hollow Hooper, which is his kind of awakened form, or whatever you call that. Gin form, I believe, is what it's called. That's really cool. Two hollows are two packs. Unless every pack has a hollow, in which case it's not all that great, I guess. But man, that's a sick looking card. That's really cool. I do like Hooper. I actually prefer Hooper's regular form, though, controversially speaking. Let's get on to the next pack. We'll start with Mew again and go over from Mew and end on the Shiny Rayquaza pack. Uh, right. So, two hollows so far. That is pretty good, actually. As I said, I haven't researched this, so it might be a set where like every card is a hollow, but I like to think that's not the case. That would be a bit weird, really, and it'd make pulling hollows a little less meaningful, but whatever. Uh, I will get rid of that code card. We'll put four to the front. And let's begin with a grass energy. And an energy uh, retrieval. I was going to say receiver there, but that is not the word that's printed on that card. We have a warp energy. Oh, Fraligator. That's cool. So they got some of the uh, Johto starters, some Johto love, because... Gold and Silver came out in the eShop recently. We have Weasel. Looking pretty weird there. Just kind of half in the string. We got Scraggy. Ooh, Croconaw. Oh yeah, can I get a Feraligator? Wait, I just pulled a Feraligator, didn't did I? What did I just pull? I can't remember. Okay, so we have Jinx. Yay, it's the... It looks a bit like the Earthworm Jim kind of style of drawing, if that makes sense. Oh, we got a Pikachu. That is a surprise. There is a Pikachu in a Pokemon card set. Uh, with Iron Tail. That's cool. Oh, we have a Reverse Ivysaur. That's pretty darn cool. And the... Oh, hello! Okay, then. We have a Zoroark GX. That is a very nice-looking card. Man. I'm so happy they went from the X to GX, because GXs are by default full art, like, even when they're not 
at um, the Super Rare. Okay, so there's 73 cards in the set. Not bad. There are obviously the Secret Rares as well, which brings her up to probably near 80. Man, that's cool, though. And his eye shines as well. That's, uh, that's always something I really like about GX designs and hollow designs in general. Well, okay, off to a pretty darn good start, then. So we've had two hollows, and we've had one GX. Yo, I'm sorry about that. Let's get on to the Red Gen sector. I was about to say Red Gyarados there. But Gyarados is not a legendary Pokemon that I'm aware of, anyway. Actually, thinking of it, Red Gyarados, at least if you take it as everyone having played Gen 2, is as common as a starter is, because everyone by default... Well, I guess you don't have to catch it, do you? You can destroy the Red Gyarados, but who would do that? Okay, four to the front. Let's get to it with the, I was going to say grass energy. My god, I'm really not with it today. We have a water energy. We have a Fraligator. Right, it was a Fraligator I pulled. Okay, so it's an uncommon card? Interesting. We have an Ultra Ball, not the full art one that everyone went crazy for for a couple months. We have a Pokemon Breeder, quite cute, and... The person everyone has seen whilst they're riding on their Taurus around. Buizel again. Scraggy again. Voltorb looking off into the sunset really angrily. Well, you know, it's a hard day for Voltorb. Oh, we got Ekans. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Pikachu again. I assume there's a Raichu in the set then. Is he a Hollow maybe? Ooh, man. We have a Reverse How and... Reverse is looking really good in this set. Man, look, there's like that. That's a really, like, cool looking reverse. Sorry, I'll stop ogling the trainer there. And we have a hollow Reshiram. So it seems like every card in this set is a hollow, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Because, of course, the res uh, would be the shining Pokemon, and of course, the. Uh, Secret res. Yeah, I see. It's a bit of a cartoony looking Reshiram there, which is interesting. But then Reshiram is a bit of a kind of cute legendary Pokemon, I suppose. Right, where did I put that at? There, I put it there. Right, okay. On to a pack design we've not opened yet, and that is Mewtwo. My favourite legendary Pokemon. I think he's my favourite legendary Pokemon. There's nothing that really comes close. I really like Gen Sect, but yeah, I uh, as much as it makes me sound like a Gen 1-er, I think Mewtwo remains as one of my favourites. So, cord card off to the side. One, two, three, four, to the front. We begin with an electric energy, or a thunder energy. I can never remember which one it is in the card game. Yay, we have Lily, best girl from Sun and Moon. And a Nendroid I pre-ordered. Super Scoop Up. Sorry about that. There's some technical difficulties there. Super Scoop Up. We have a Sophocles. A Totodile. That's an interesting Totodile there. Are you going to focus? Yes, you are. Well done, camera. We have a Bulbasaur. Golette. Uh, I'll almost drop my cards there. We have a Fraligate, uh, Croconaut, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm mispronouncing all of these Pokemon today. Or just calling them the wrong names, actually. Litten giving us the wink. Oh, we have a Reverse Rashiram, uh, the card we just pulled in the last pack. And our final, whoa, hello, <gasps> yes! Okay then, so I knew the Legendary Dogs were in this set, but I didn't know they had GXs. Oh my god, that is amazing. I... I love Entei. He's... Actually, when I said Mewtwo is my favourite legendary, I think Entei also gives it a bit of a run for its money. It's uh, definitely my favourite of the three dogs. Oh man, look at that. That is a cool-looking GX. And of course, his eyes glow, as did Zoroark, with Brave Burn GX as his move. And that is his number, if anyone, ma if anyone cares. Right, well... 
I'm going to reposition and move things a little around and we'll go on to the last five packs. I am back. Sorry about that. I have to rearrange everything because everything was getting a mess and my leg was going to sleep. So let's get straight into the shiny Rayquaza pack or shining Rayquaza, I suppose. And I have decimated this thing. Okay, well, let's just rip it open then. Okay. Damn, damn. Hang on. Right. And you know, I was actually about to make the point that. Wow, these packs open really nicely. And then we had this pack. So, let's get on to Psychic Energy. Oh, cool. We have an Incineroar. Seem to have a lot of starters in this set, which I'm always quite fond of. Spiritum again. Super Scoop Up. We have Tortodile in his Derpy Paws. Litten in its kind of winking paws. Okay, Purloin. Nice to see Purloin back, I guess. Bolt Orb looking very angry again. We have another... Oh, wait, no. It's the same Golette design that I pulled in that reverse. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got a Fraligator reverse hollow. If it doesn't get a hollow, then I'm happy with the reverse. And, oh, another card is... Okay, it's a Keldeo hollow. That's actually very nice. Keldeo looking pretty intense there. Not one of my favourite Pokemon. And fun fact, if you are looking for a Keldeo plushie from the Pokemon 20th anniversary thing, in my local Toys R Us, there is literally a massive box full of them that for some reason Toys R Us just refuses to reduce in price. I think it may be because Keldeo is not particularly popular, but Toys R Us is Toys R Us. And dropping prices is kind of not something they tend to do. But let's move on to our final Shiny Moo pack. Or Shiny Moo. I suppose I should call them Shining, shouldn't I? Because that's what they're called in this set. Actually, will we be able to pull a Shining Pokemon? That is the question. So far, no doublers on the hollows, though. That's always good. Three, four. Okay. Ooh, Darkness Energy. Haven't seen one of those yet. A Volcarona. That's cool. We have Lily again, very nice. A damage mover. I I presume that moves damage from one Pokemon to another. We have a Torkoal. Ivysaur again. Zoroa. A Litten. Quillfish. Ooh. A reverse Sophocles, again with a really cool trainer hollow design. And we have a Palkia hollow. That is really cool. Palkia is always water, which is. Is he water dragon? If he is, I'll put an annotation on this video either way. But that is a very nice looking Palkia. All the shininess is kind of sending my camera a bit wild with autofocus there. But that is a very nice looking card. Right, let's get on to the next pack, which is, I believe, the Red Gen set. Now, we've got three packs left. Can we pull a GX, another GX, or a Shining Pokemon? I'm hoping for one of the two. I'd be very happy with the GX, seriously, because I know it's a smaller set, so pulling three GXs out of... 73 cards isn't quite as impressive but it still would be really cool got a fire energy haven't pulled one of those yet we have the incineroar again oh arbok that's cool oh venusaur yes right that's cool because i think i've pulled more ivy saws than i have bulbasaurs we have a lavesta to go with the volcarona oh nice breloom okay then i'm um, that's really cool i'm genuinely Happy with this pack because I got a Breloom and a Venusaur. Oh, and we got a Toracat. Man, it's just like filling up all the evolution lines that we started with the other packs. We got the Plusle and Minum card, or Minum. I prefer to call it a Minum, but whatever. Zoroa. Oh, man. Oh, that's really cool. I forgot um, that energies can come reverse. That's a really nice looking card, actually. 
And I think I see a little bit of shininess there. What is the... Oh my god! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Where's Lastly? Where did I put Lastly? Hang on. Uh, right, I am back. Now let's look at Mewtwo GX. So that is the number. Not that it wants to focus though. I'm back. That is indeed 76 or 73. Just making sure I did pull a secret rare there. That is a very, very nice looking card. As I said, quite fond of Mewtwo anyway. Never pulled one of these rainbow secret rares. So this is... I... Wow. I'm... As I said, I wanted to pull a Shining or a GX. That was my intention. I did not care about pulling a secret rep. That wasn't really something I intended to do. I mean, there was only two packs left. Didn't think that was possible, but... Oh, right. I'm going to move on to the next pack before I just spend the next ten minutes going... Oh, in front of the camera again. Right, let's open a Mewtwo pack. Well, if I can get a Mewtwo GX regular, that would be pretty cool, because then I'd have the Mewtwo GX set from Shining Legends. But overall, I think that's probably one of the cards that people are kind of after. And the fact that I got it from the Elite Trainer Box is pretty cool. And I believe these packs are only available in Elite Trainer Boxes and other special Shining Legend boxes. So it makes sense why it's a smaller set in that case. Anyway, we have a Fighting Energy, a Volcarona. We have a Golurk. How? A Golette. Go. Cool. We got the Golurk line. We've got a Purloin. Can we get a Lipard? I wonder. Got a Plusle. The Stunfisk again on the beach. Oh, cool. We got a Minin. Okay, so there's a Minin card as well. I thought they'd have just put a Plusle in. Interesting. Yay! Reverse Electrode. My boy. And what will the final one be? Yay! It's a Marshadow. It's a Hollow Marshadow. I don't think I've actually got a Marshadow in the game yet. They did release that, didn't they? And I just forgot about it, I think. Unless I did get it. Did I? It doesn't matter. That's not really relevant to this video. I'm going to put that over there. And let's... Oh, well, I'll put it behind everything. So it protects the hollow. And the final pack is the Shining Rayquaza. So will I be able to pull a GX? Just let's let's disregard the fantastic pull I just had of Shining Mewtwo. Uh, Shining Mewtwo? Mewtwo GX Super Rare, the Rainbow Secret Rare, whatever thing it's called. Let's disregard that and let's just pull a key together and form the ultimate luck spirit bomb. Right, I'll be right back. Back. Sorry, the glue at the top there was a bit of a bugger with this one. Let's put that to the back. Three, four, to the front. What can we pull in our final pack? Fairy energy. Ah, oh, light pad. Cool. There we are. We have a Pokemon catcher. We have a Golurk. Ekans. A Toracat. Yay, Breloom again. Oh, next to its pre-evolved form. We have a Minin again. Larvesta. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, we got the reverse of the Hooper that I got. What will the final card of this pack be? <gasps> oh, okay. It's a Zekrom Hollow. Well, <laughs> not, not quite the uh, mind-blowing finale there, but I'm pretty happy that I've got both Reshiram and Zekrom. Zekrom Hollow from this set. Well, that has been, frankly, a phenomenal box. I haven't had any doublers in terms of hollows, which is always good. Especially with such a small size set, really. And I have pulled three GXs, which I think is pretty darn good going. And of course, I did pull the Rainbow Mewtwo GX. I'm I'm beyond words, really. This is... It's such a good-looking card as well. Mewtwo's not all weird and CG or whatever. 
like a lot of his GXs have been in EXs. This is just genuinely a really pretty card. So anyway, I'm going to go off now and put on a pedestal and maybe pray to it a couple of times a day for next month. And I'll see you guys again if I do do any more Shining Legend packs. There is a Mewtwo box out, actually, that I'm thinking of getting. So keep your eyes peeled for that. As always, if you do want to subscribe or something, that would be cool. Giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down is also nice because I get some feedback. And if you want to comment anything, like let me know what you've pulled, if you've bought one of these or if you've bought any other Shining Legend, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And until next time, goodbye.